welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. The studio. I went to the studio on Mallory again, and they had a little pop up shop or whatever. Uh, had some footage. I'm gonna uh, clean it up and then put it in the drive and see if it works for burning early. Or whatnot. You got burning early. Oh, I was about to be like. <laughs> Yo, yo, speaking of that, yo, why does a clip going around of <laughs> of of um Ernie on um from Sesame Street and this dude run, runs up on him like he's like a, a drug dealer and he's buying he's selling him an eight. <laughs> and it's a literal eight. <laughs> Whatever. Oh no, it 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 fit. It felt like it fit. What? A literal eight? <laughs> Yeah, like you know how um okay, so instead of an A, like instead of an A, it's an actual eight, but he, the way he came up on him, it looked like he was about to be like a drug dealer, like yeah. But it's like they doing a transaction. I'm gonna find that clip. So I think it's somebody need to get their ass whipped if they paid for an eighth and they got a number. Eight. I don't think that a drug person is gonna want that. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. What am I gonna do with this actual number eight? <laughs> with some food that I could have ate, I'd be down. With that. <laughs> well, how y'all did for the past week, man? I ain't seen y'all. I ain't talked to y'all in a minute. Same old, same old. Yeah, just okay. having to do anything as far as the podcast at least. Uh, mm-hmm. What'd you say? Did y'all enjoy being off and not having to do anything as far as the podcast at least? Um, no. Yeah, just keep myself busy and you no, know, I still like try to drop a little video from time to time. And whatnot, and uh, yeah, that's about it. The face you said no. Yeah, but I don't like time off. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We'll be back. Hey guys, how are y'all? Hola. I'm excited. I don't know. I don't really know that I'm excited about the topic as much as I just am to just shoot shit with y'all niggas. Uh. Yeah, I don't know why I feel like it's been so damn long. Because we're so used to doing it every week. Mm-hmm. But we back, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You said what episode? Yeah. It is episode 7 2. We old. Seven two. We old like your ass. <clears throat> the podcast is so. Episode nine times eight. Oh, look at you with your quick math! Come on, money man. That's just one thing I actually remember from elementary school. <laughs> hey, that's worth remembering. Man. Amongst all the other stuff, but yeah. Well, uh. Without further ado, what's up, guys? Welcome to the party. Yeah. Show with three friends separated by distance, connected by brotherhood, having weekly conversations that you can join in on. And as always, I'm one third of your boys. The partner. I'm your boy, Tiz. And I'm along with the other third of the partners, the Padawan here. And um, just imagine I said something fancy to exuberate that I'm the Padawan and my greatness. And uh, the next person, that's up the bat, and I am along with is. <laughs> What's that, man? It's the other third, final third of the partners. It's your boy Stace in the place, man. I ain't even running this week. I'm watching the race. 
And while you watching the race, Pat over there inventing new words. I'm pretty sure I ain't never heard nobody say exuberate. What that mean? Exuberate. It's um more like exaggerated. Like um let me let me actually get the actual definition to this. Because oh, I know exuberate is a real word. Uh-huh. Oh. Show exuberance, exuberated over his victory. What is it? Uh, to be exuberant, mm-hmm. yeah. joyously unrestrained and enthusiastic. Word Happy as fuck. To exuberate yourself. Exuberate, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all been exuberating this week? Oh man, only on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Some work throughout the week. That do sound dirty. Oh. Man. Oh, exuberate yourself. Well, enthusiastically. We this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll jump right into it. We were not off long enough. Um. This first discussion that I had is it, I don't know what I was watching some clips. Y'all know me, I'll be down these little YouTube rabbit holes. And I was watching this video, and this dude was basically giving some advice to another dude. Now the dude ain't asked for the advice. You know, it's kind of like one of them, you ain't assholes, but uh-huh. but the advice was sound advice. The other dude saw this video and said, why are you hating on me? You hating. So I wanted to know, in these days in 2022, why is everything hating? What can 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 you give a critique, advice, opinion, or just differ on a way of thinking without it being hating? And what exactly is hate? How does it compare to those other well, things? Well, welcome to 2022, where motherfuckers confuse words for other words, and they get all convoluted in their actions and think they know that what they know is right when they actually it wrong. Um, most people think um, critical judgments or critical um, observations are hating when it's actually not. Um, if I don't like your jacket, I'm not hating on your jacket. I'm just pointing out that you have an ugly ass jacket on. Um, if you have something I don't have and I aspire to get it and I start saying negative things about it, then that would be hate. But if I'm just making an observation that everyone else could see, that's not hate. That's an observation. Sure, some observations may not be liked by all, <clears throat> excuse me, but they're still true. I'm not hating on you because you got some ugly ass shoes on that I said were ugly. I'm not hating because you got a big gaudy ass chain on. It looks too big for your neck. I'm just pointing that shit out. I don't want it. I'm just pointing it out. Now, when it gets to motherfuckers like, and that nigga don't deserve that girl and all that shit, that's hate. Because you want that girl. But you see something in that man that you don't possess. So you're just going to say something negative about that guy. That's hate. That's not an observation. People, stop getting your words confused. Words have different definitions for a purpose and for a meaning and for a reason. Please, pick up a Webster's. Pat, why do you think that people keep saying everything is hate? What do you think that's I, people? People can't take critiques nowadays. They, they once the ego uh, feel some type of way, then everything is hating, pretty much. When it, it's, it all depends on the level of the ego. If the ego start feeling some type of way, or if if the ego is not feeling exuberated enough, pretty much, they're going to feel like um, it's an attack, or they're going to make it seem like it's an attack, or whatever. So 
the people that may be watching or the or viewers or whoever may be listening or whatever will just just write that off as like that's hate i don't really listen to that dude or whatever if it especially if they have like a following or they're fans or whatever if they're like devout fans or whatnot if they're devout fans and he says that he's hating or whatever then they're not going to listen to him but if he actually takes the critique or whatever then that dude is a real ass dude or whatever catchphrase they want to call him <clears throat> it's all ego I, I feel like, I definitely agree. It's definitely an ego thing. I definitely feel like people are misconstruing words like they said. I always wonder the root of it, though. Like, what makes people all of a sudden, like, why is that now the thing, like, to call things hate? And I wonder, does it come from, like, this participation trophy? Of- because motherfuckers becoming dumb. Niggas is getting stupider and stupider by the day or dumber and dumber by the day. So instead of being able to differentiate between two different things, they just clump them all together and say all of the same shit. That's just, that's just like looking at black people and saying all of the same instead of differentiating from each individual. It ain't all the same. It ain't all black or different. It ain't all hate. It's critiques. It's observation. It's pointing something out. Motherfucker, if you're more self-aware of the downfalls in yourself, you won't be saying people are hating. You'll realize an observation when you see it. Most times when people tell you the truth about yourself, they're not hating. they just giving you the truth, but you'll turn it into, man, you hating because you don't want to accept this shit. I feel real. I hey. wonder, you know, does like the, the fact that we coddle people so much, man. Like, there's so many ways to say, oh, the support. Excuse me. Choking on a piece of candy. So many ways to say, support me. Give my group credibility. You can't say that about us. Don't talk about us like that. Oh, because we're doing it, everyone has to like it. So I wonder does that like contribute to like people then, like whenever they hear something that's not affirming of their belief or their way of doing something, I wonder is that make them then like, oh, what's well, that hate? I wonder if it's, that, to that misconstruing of the term. Hayton, Hayton rolled the, the trending topic train. Like, if you really think about it, people wasn't really like, I would say, overusing or misusing the word Hayton until like really social media started booming. So, and then it's just the and then it's the it's the simple fact of how fan base exploit how people want to belong to shit or whatever. So once it gets to a point where, all right, you're a public figure and somebody says something against you, and to you it makes you feel like you, it makes you look like look bad because you don't have a way to have you don't have a rebuttal against it or whatever. And being that two people are too lazy to think, the quickest rebuttal back to it is you hating. I'm gonna say you hating until I figure out something else. Yeah, they just, when, once again, loss of aptitude. What you mean? Because they dumb. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's 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 between it's between ignorance, laziness, and if they're actually dumb. Because I, I think I think it, to give them, to say that they're is that they're dumb is it, it kind of gives them a an excuse. It is no, more like no 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 no. Mm-hmm. Ignorance is never is never an excuse for ignorance. Ignorance goes hand in hand with laziness. If you know you're ignorant, you have the choice to educate yourself. If you just you, you what you say about ignorant and lazy, that was just a double. You just said the same thing twice, basically, because the motherfucker's <laughs> ignorant. The fact that you know you're ignorant, you have the choice that I can keep saying this dumb ass shit and be comfortable, or I can educate myself and just just, just put a little bit more in my head. Yeah, I I was using those words. Well, basically breaking down how 
these are people are thinking because people are like their attention span is 15 seconds or whatever because their attention span is 15 seconds they too lazy to think being that they're too lazy to think that's where trending topics pop in that's where hashtags pop in and do the thinking form and then you have that that train going that's that's what i meant by that now by dumb i meant like all right if they it was no way they they just did not know anything about it whatever and i what i i was i was separating separating that from ignorance because like you said you can choose to actually learn something about it um pretty much but yeah it's just it's it's this social media trending topic culture is what making this misuse of hating so prevalent. That's that's what I'm saying. Because people so used to getting them likes, <clears throat> clicks, like, oh, look at your outfit. That looks nice. Look at your haircut. That's cool. That's great. Mm-hmm. You're a nice car. So as soon as somebody be like, oh, I don't think that <clears throat> looks so cool. Oh, you a hater. Oh, my God, you a <clears throat> hater. You don't like what I got. You a hater. Oh, no, no, no. It can't be that my shit just whack. You a hater. Mm-hmm. I, I think and it can't be that you have an opposite opinion of mine. Right. Like, it's it happened to just taking advice or just taking, like, criticism or just, like, ignoring, like, the opinions that you didn't feel like applied to you. Like, if it don't even apply to you, like, why, why does people got to call? Why is that hating? The, the what happens to not giving a fuck about what somebody else thinks? That too. I mean, that's 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 only cool when it works for them on social media. I'm telling you, social media is it's a gift and a curse, and a lot of times it's a, a bigger curse than it than than the gift. Because now you have think about this: our generation didn't grow up with social media. We kind of just was the first to experience it whatever mm-hmm. now we have a, a young adult generation that grew up with social media prevalent in their lives or whatever so like it's that was their it's <clears throat> yeah like it's it's their like it's so ingrained into them that you can't even like for us it it, it might be kind of hard to fathom how they can just like everything i don't is, understand yeah like 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 if you you saying like you don't have to post all the time is almost a therapeutic statement (laughs) like that's the the worst shit for me like it's so hard for me to post on social media i hate that shit i hate being on that Mm -hmm. i really do it is not a fun place it's like just stress. Especially for a private person like me. Like, that shit is stressful as hell. Like, oh, well, okay, I want to put that out. Oh, I don't think I really want that out. Oh, now I do. Okay, no, I don't really like that. Oh, somebody gonna say something. Like, ah, so I get mm-hmm. it. Everything ain't hate. Like, somebody say, oh, that nigga tears hair look horrible. All right, that ain't hate. You don't like my hair. That's fine. I, I, I like I think you gotta like also be okay with like hearing things about themselves that are not good. Like even on social media, you got trolls. Like I'm surprised that this social media culture hasn't like evolved to the point where they can like accept negative criticism when there's so many trolls out there that that's all they do is go around giving negative criticism. I don't get it. But uh I'll tell you one thing good social media has brought us the good and fuckery and i think it's that time yes that is one part one good thing about social media my entertainment (laughs) my social entertainment so let me go ahead and get ready to screen that is ready and it's time for uh episode 72 good (laughs) and fuckery Fuckery, 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 good, fuckery.
Let's and while it. we've been away, while we've been away, Man. the world has gone crazy and it has supplied us with so much fuckery. There's, I had to limit it. I'm, I'm had to like cut some of it short because I knew it would take up too much time. So, um, might as well bring up the first fuckery of um, yes. yeah. the Will and Jada report. <laughs> oh my God. Have y'all seen this clip? This, this, yeah. This new footage that has surfaced. Yes. Yes. Right, so I showed my wife, and she had a very different perspective. Like, I showed it to her with no context, without nobody, like, giving their commentary on it, and then it was just a clip. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to first say it was very interesting to see how women see these things compared mm -hmm. to how me as a man sees it. Um, so. For the viewers that have not seen the clip, um, it's basically Will is sitting there and Jada is like, you know, this lady, I can't remember the lady name, asked the starts with an E or something, Esther or something. Rose or something like that. Uh -huh. Anyway, she was like, this lady. this lady coming on this on the red table. So tune in. And uh she helped me and Will. Then she helped us Will. Don't you think that it's good that she helped us? And Will is sitting there looking at the camera like, um, okay, I, I think that it's messed up that, you know, you put the camera on me, you know, social media is my livelihood. So, you know, I, I don't, don't, don't record me like that and just pop, pop up on me recording like in my house, just standing in my house. My wife was like, well, I can see how maybe she got upset because he was like, you know, not trying to go along with her video. And he was kind of cold. So, you know, he was kind of being an ass. I was so confused. Because for me, I saw a man that's just emasculated and broken. And I saw a woman that could not take no for an answer. <clears throat> and it's forcing this man into yet another situation that makes him look more and more like a simp, like a weak man. And it's like, why? What would he do to you? Why don't you just leave that man? I don't know. The shit crazy, man. I've never seen such a broken man. I I think that you perfectly explained the situation here. Whatever, like. Why do you think hmm. women see such a different thing? <clears throat> because I don't because think they have no clue what the it is. They so don't know what they have never had. Because they never know the feeling of being emasculated. They can identify with every other feeling that a man has. But that is one truly unique feeling for a man that a woman can never have or never truly experience. We can try to explain it to them, but if they're never willing to receive that information, they won't really have a real true understanding of what being emasculated is. Um, they can experience what it feels to be talked down to, but being emasculated isn't always being talked down to. So I don't think they can really readily idealize with that. So in any instance where they are emasculating the man, they'll see some emotion or an emotion but they won't readily recognize what that is or what they're doing to that person to after the fact. They're in my eyes, just just me as a man. Them um, with women when it comes to emasculating the man, um, they do it by they may be oversaying or undermining some of the man says. In this instance, Will didn't want to be on social media. He didn't want to be on the camera. Why well, force me to do something I want to do? Um, let's flip that. A woman doesn't want to have sex, but a man does, and he forces us or her to do so. Mm. Is that right? No. You basically camera raped him. I didn't want to do this. You made me do this. But you derive sympathy from this when I don't want to do it. No. You can't get that. You can't have both edge, both 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 sides of the sword. And, and it seems like in a lot of situations when it comes to um, public relationships 
is seen that the females ha- is, is trying to get a double side on the sword, and especially in this relationship, which has become so public. And even though I try not to, I try my hardest not to speak on this and not to talk about this, but it always comes up in in, uh, in every circle because I, 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 me personally, I really hate talking about other people's like, relationships. You know, because just me, I was always taught never speak on another man's business if I ain't got that man's permission. But I'll never have way permission. You feel me? And, and in this instance, I'm speaking in general, not on him specifically or any specific things like relationship topics. Um, we're speaking in general about just that that video and uh, what a woman did in a perspective situations. So this is why I had no problem speaking on this one. Um, but like I said, uh, um, there's different viewpoints. As you said, you viewed it one way, your wife viewed it another. Um, me, I tried my damage once again not to watch the video because I'm not trying to consume any more wheel or jade bullshit at all. Like I, I'm, I'm really sick and tired of them. Um, uh, if Will ain't making a movie, I don't want to see a Will, Will Smith face. Um, I'm tired of Jada face so much. I don't even want to see Willow face. Um, so uh, <laughs> I just what whatever going on with them. I just want them to get their shit together behind the scenes and stay behind the scenes. Y'all shit has become so so um, salacious. That's an everyday yeah. thing. It, it become an everyday meme. Um, but this is your relationship. Um, I'm sorry, just me Me as a human being, I don't want my, my relationship or anything sentimental or intimate to me to become a salacious thing for the entire world. Um, in the instance of the slap or whatever, uh, right or wrong, whatever, each man, it, that's subjective to me. Um, it, depending on who you were, is how you're going to react in a situation. I'm not him. I don't know what's going through his head, his head, but I can guarantee when he slapped that dude, when he slapped Chris Rock, he was like, God damn right. As he walked around, as he turned around, but when he went back to his seat, I guarantee it was something else. Because once again, he had to go back and sit beside that same woman who's been emasculating him and bringing him to the point of now I have to physically act out, or now I have to actually do something. You feel me? I've tried to do it every other way. I've tried to you no, know, I've tried to bash. I've tried to be the extra exuberant. Ah, it's just me, Will Smith. Ah, but nothing. It, it seems like nothing is. You feel me? But so I mean, at what point? It, 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 at what point are we going to see a change? Is this going to be, is this about to be the new OJ? Ah. You know I mean? is, is that the turn, is that the turn it's going to take? Or is this going to be the new um, Brad Pitt case where we saying, she's saying, he, she's saying one thing, but he's saying he getting abused in the house. What is it? Like, I really don't care. What is it? I got my own marriage to work about. <laughs> but at the end mm-hmm. of the day, it's, sal- it's salacious and me mm-hmm. being a black media outlet now, we have to talk about it. So then we had to talk about it. Get y'all shit straight, Will and Jalen. Please get y'all shit straight. Do me a favor. Take all y'all social media content down so you get your family life straight. Because at the end of the day, you still have kids. Whether they are young adults or not, they still are affected by your bullshit because your bullshit is out and open. You don't think when um the little weird boy and the little weird girl go out, people don't ask them about y'all weird ass? <laughs> yes. Little weird boy. They still ask your kids about what your weird ass is. So if not for your, if not for your own sanity, Think about your kids because at the end of the day, the kids are still a future. So you traumatize your kids, put your kids in this limelight with this bullshit because you already got a nigga a couple years older than your son walking around talking about he's fucking moms. Really, That's y'all? What, 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 is, what, is, what is going on? What is what is going on? Like, y'all y'all becoming the new Kardashians. Y'all, y'all the new it, it family. You feel me? Y'all the black Kardashians. It's just not so many females in the family. Y'all, y'all, matter of fact, fuck the Kardashians. Y'all the new Adams family. Y'all are the new Adams family. You hear me? Y'all creepy and fucking kooky. <laughs> that shit's real. He, he's right. Niggas he, <laughs> is right. He's right, man. He's right. I think another problem yeah, is it's, it's, it's part of culture not to care about a man's feelings. It's, it's part of the culture. Like, until we get over that, until that's taken seriously, like, anytime, anytime a man express an emotion outside of anger or I'm getting money, which is not even an emotion. Right. <laughs> it's not even an emotion, but we got to treat it like it is. It's... He's being demasculated. demasculated. I can't even say the word. Jesus. 
I don't want to say the word because I don't want that shit. Emasculated. Anything to do with yeah, he emasculated. He is like it's how are we gonna get rid of emasculation if it's a part of the culture? I know how to like, get rid of that shit because it was it wasn't always part of the culture. I got the fucking solve it, solve it right here. I got the fucking problem solved. Into the you want to stop emasculation? You want you want to go back? You want to stop emasculation? Let's let's take a trip back in history. Let let's take a trip back in history because that's only really emasculation gonna stop. It was a fair and Based even like exchange. Right you hear me? You hear me? Women, you start emasculating men when you got more more rights and you start feeling yourself. I have no problem with that. I want a woman's rights. I I, I want y'all to get all the rights and be equal. But for some reason, you feel like being equal means that you have to talk down or make a feel man, a man feel less. But then you want a strong man. You can't have both. There is no such thing as a weak, strong man. If you want a strong man, take that strong man for what it is. If you want to try to beat him down and break him down, you don't need that man. You need a punching bag. You mm-hmm. need to take a ride. You need mm-hmm. an outdoor activity. You need a hobby because your hobby has become emasculating that man. We did a fair and even switch. You feel me? Back in the day, it won't know emasculate no man. It won't know talking no shit about your man. It was doing what your man asked because he gave it, he gave you everything you wanted. He paid all the motherfucking bills. But nowadays, in 2022, you want to talk shit, pop shit, get shit, and still be taken care of and pampered. Fuck that. You feel me? How dare you think? How dare? You feel me? Uh, my thing is, you, you won't respect, give respect. That's you want to be treated like a wrong. queen? Treat treat him like a king. Ain't no king getting emasculated. Cause ain't no true queen gonna emasculate her king. And Jada, a true king and queen are gonna compliment each other. A true king and queen see the value in each other. They're gonna uplift each other and not try to bring each other down at any point. A true king and queen. I know we all got the new thing. We walk around, hey king, hey queen, hey king. But a lot of motherfuckers out here ain't kings or queens. I'm gonna call you as I see you. Nick. You're a bunch of fucking humans putting on masks and fake ass crowns. Let's be real. If you still got it in your heart to emasculate your man, look in the mirror and know that you ain't no fucking queen. That's real. You're right. working yourself to that level. <clears throat> you're trying to work yourself to the level. And I ain't just on women, men. If you can look at your woman and you can talk down on your woman and be berate her, saying you ain't no fucking king. Both sexes step into your shoes, man. Step into your rightful places that you say saying you are, but you really ain't living in that place. You ain't no fucking king if you can't take care of your fucking castle. It ain't all about money. That's more about taking care of your fucking castle, making sure your house is in order. You ain't no fucking queen if you can't do the exact same thing, making sure the inside of the house is in order. I'm not talking about cleanliness. I'm talking about the family. If you ain't got no kids, the family is you and that fucking man. Get your positions right, man. Yeah, and at the same time, make sure that you are not out here disrespecting people's nose. Cause I, I as I watched the clip, what I saw was if a man had been following a woman around, recording her without her permission, as she said, don't record me, the world would have been up and off. Oh, he disrespected her. He didn't take her no, he he didn't get her consent. He is he was but why is nobody up and arms about the fact that this woman did the same thing to this man? Because niggas don't give a fuck about me. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck about me. Nope. But what would the world be without us? <laughs> Shit. Including men sometimes. Because we'll go right on that, that that same hate train or whatever. As soon as like somebody starts, as soon as a, a man starts showing an emotion other than I'm mad and I get money. Even sometimes when I get mad, we go on the joke train. I myself do it sometimes too, depending on the celebrity if I like them a lot <laughs> or not. <laughs> is it any culpability that we as men have that have allowed women to take this position of demasculating men and it being accepted? Because I also on the wide scale, yeah. As I, as I watched the as I watched the man be broken, I also watched the man allow himself to not like take any control of the situation. He just sat there. So mm-hmm. On the wide scale, on the wide scale, yeah. Take the camera. Do something. I ain't, like, don't do nothing crazy, but, like, take some Either type of, like, at that- liberties over your own faculties. Like, 
Take this this is the point. The only thing he could really do is walk away. The only thing he could really do is walk away or whatever. And at that point, he might have been yeah, busy in thought. And, and, and he might have been in thought doing because you saw he was actually on his phone. He could be trying to just finish something on his phone. And then he can do more. And then mm-hmm. he can do more than that. He can walk away from the relationship. Yeah, like that too. At what point do we as men like not accept it? Like, okay, yeah, she's a pretty lady. All right, you're Will Smith. You get another pretty lady. Like, with hair, if you want. Like, mm-hmm. why are you as a man sitting here and accepting this role of being treated as lesser than? And you don't That's why because at the end of the day, feelings, feelings and attachments come into play, regardless of the sex, because in the same instance, a woman will do the same thing, stick around with a man who abuses her and beats the fuck out of her. And people ask, why the fuck you still with him? Why the fuck you still with him? And she can't say it. So the same reason we're taking all this bullshit, mental and emotional abuse and motherfuckers don't know why he won't leave. The same reason his motherfucker is, is in love with her. You feel me? Like he's emotionally deeply emotionally attached to the same level where an abused female who knows she getting her ass who, who goes to the hospital every week for a fucking bruise or black out broken bone will keep going back to that same dude who doing it who knows she called her mama every fucking week he, he did it again mama he beat me again mama he did it again mama the same thing will smith i don't know baby please stop this baby i don't know baby please stop this entanglement and same with his dumb ass keep running Stock back same, for, same fucking shit these deep-seated attachments psychologically where you feel like you need that motherfucking person. You don't need anybody in your life in all actuality because no one in this world except for a Siamese twin was born with somebody. You feel me? At the end of the day, you born by yourself, you gonna die by yourself. The relationships and things you build in life between birth and death, that's all good, that's all fine. But don't indebt yourself to one person so much that you lose your fucking self and lose your sanity and can't get your own happiness. Once again, everybody knows you gotta make yourself happy before you can make somebody else happy. And at the point where you look in yourself in, in the mirror and say you miserable, how much happiness can you derive from anything or how much happiness can you give out to anything? None. Is this the reason why Will Smith doing all this other wild and crazy shit now? Because he can't find no happiness at home and can't find no happiness. So he had to do all this other shit he in the that house. he doing. You feel me? Is that why he doing He's all this other shit to derive happiness, to find, to find that happiness that should be at home? Is that why? Is this why the same reason why abused females go out and be whores and go out and do all this shit to try to find that attention? Same shit. You feel me? It ain't, it ain't between sexes. It's human behavior when it comes to this instance. It's basically fucking human shit. Them deep-seated psychological, un- them deep-seated subconscious psychological things in each person that makes you go to this abuse, that makes you keep going to this toxic person when you know it ain't right, when you know you should be gone. But you can't. But you can't. You gotta hit that wall. You gotta hit that fucking wall first. Yeah. And Will hit he done hit a few walls. I fear for what the next wall is because oh. he done slapped one motherfucker. The next level, okay, I'm gonna rehab. What the fuck you in rehab for? Anger rehab? No, motherfucker. That's some Hollywood bullshit. I'm in anger rehab. You ain't on no substances. That's the type of rehab you go for. Substance abuse rehab. You got anger. You need a counselor. You 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 need somebody to get to the deep, see the root of between you and this other person, and then you by yourself or whatever, however they do it. But my thing is, get this shit straight, man. Get your mental straight. Make sure you're straight. Women and men. You in a fucked up situation. You not realizing it. Look in the fucking mirror. That person in the mirror gonna tell you back. Yeah. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Oh yeah. All I gotta say, all I gotta say is about this is this or whatever, because uh, somebody got mad about my opinion about it earlier, whatever. But um, there was this thing that said Will did it because protect black women. He was protecting his wife or whatever. Will did that's what you, he slapped Chris Rock to protect his wife okay i personally don't think so i think he's i think he just snapped i think he saw his wife she had made a face and he thought he had to do something or whatever maybe to try to impress her into thinking that he's her finally her inner tupac that she always want him to be or whatever um and then 
Jada turned around uh, and made a statement and said, um, I don't know why Will did it. I'm very disappointed. So once again, protect black women. But how can we protect y'all if we're getting stabbed? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the woman that he protected, quote unquote, Sad. said that she was surprised that he did it and was just yes 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 how can we protect y'all if y'all not helping protect us mentally Will, physically yeah. Will, i feel like i want to come take a flash photographer picture of you or something snap you the fuck about this get out will get out Will. Mm-hmm. get she i don't know what the tea is in that cup that she spending that spoon in but get out will Get out the tongue and play, sir. Like it, it's it. It ain't that deep. It ain't. It ain't worth it. I don't care how many years you got with the woman. I, I do you one better. Heal, will. Heal, my brother. Heal, will. Whatever ill is in you, will. You need to heal, brother. Heal. You are fucking Will Smith. You need to heal, will. You need to heal. Whatever stuff is in you, will. You need to heal. You know, fuck, fuck that. You are fucking Will Smith. I'm saying. You are the main breadwinner of that house and family. I'm saying. Set it off is not doing what Independence Day do. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, you, so you're I'm saying, sorry. So you're saying Wu is, is, isn't going to move the needle? I'm, if Who? you ain't talking about Wu-Tang, I ain't. <laughs> that's about it. Um, you are the main, you're still continuously making movies and shit. They might be Man, mad at you right now, all, but they're still all watch David. all all those bad boys. Michael Bay said he's still working with Will, Will Smith. There still will be bad boys coming. We're still going to watch them. Okay. I'm going to flip I'm gonna flip the script. Okay. Will Smith, now, man. Will Smith, if Will like Smith was a basketball player, niggas would still be playing with Will Smith. Well, the trail free will choke that motherfucker a couple of years back. Then he still played basketball. It was a fine, but niggas still got to play basketball. Now you trying to blackball this motherfucker because he slapped another motherfucker. Oh, fucking well. How many niggas are getting I mean, slapped behind, behind the scenes? He slapped the motherfucker in front. He was the realest mother. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. Out of Hollywood, Will Smith, the realest motherfucking Hollywood, because I slap your bitch ass on camera. I ain't got to wait behind the camera. <laughs> so, like in 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 hindsight, looking at it, I right, I'm I for the sake of black excellence and the simple fact that it was a black man producing the Oscars or whatever, I was like, he shouldn't have done that, and that's the main reason why I say he shouldn't have done that or whatever. The, the, to be just to protect black excellence or whatever but at the same time at the same time I kind of feel like this should happen we need to like be over the Oscars fuck, fuck, fuck that Oscars. that slap was a, that slap was an example of black excellence did you see the, the delivery of that slap did you see the Chris, the Chris walk up to? That was an excellent wa- delivery. I clean walked up to your ass and slapped the shit out your ass. Did a perfect 360 and walked the fuck back to my chair. That was excellent. That was an excellent <laughs> slap. I'm going to be the dissenting opinion on this one. And this one. I, can't, I can't agree there. I, I, I saw a weak ass nigga that had to take a milk and yeah. broke the fuck down on national TV. And then, and then had Chris Rock said some real disrespectful shit and he real disrespectful shit about his wife and he got up and smacked him cool it had chris rock threw some over there cool had chris rock had done some like physical shit or some bullshit to them behind the scenes right before they went out there cool but over the gi jane yo that's what you got up and got real nigga for hey i'm not condoning clowning the fuck out of you and your wife I, I, I getting real nasty with this professor. You ain't rolled up on nobody else, but this nigga said a GI Jane joke about your wife, and you go up and smack him, and you no, I can't, I can't give you. And then, smack and him. then the main, the main Just person you should him. smack will smack you back. That's all. The that main he ain't smack August. The main. That's August, what I'm saying. August the main was, person you're supposed on. to smack. He 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 just released another song about them. Another song, and. The the main reason why I feel like it should have happened though is because we need to get over the Oscars. 
period. Like, I would have known about it. Like, like, I, I think we just should just be open. Smack told or whatever. The, the same here. I woke up to the smack. I woke up, saw some shit on the phone. I was like, oh, shit, let me check this out. Hey, I tell you this. Like, Slap or not, I still didn't give a fuck about the war show. I don't yeah. feel these motherfuckers need a war show. I mean, Fucking I did. Uh, you get a big ass goddamn even, check or some goddamn award. I didn't go to watch the rest of it. I just watched the, the little snippets of it. But we really just need, I, I personally think this is, we should just get over the Oscars and do our own thing because we just have too much weight. I feel like if anything, we're going to make this, if they're going to make the slap into something that, like, that's like, wait, because, all right, he shouldn't have slapped them, but it's not as bad as what they're blowing it up to be. Like, they're, like, banning him for 10 years and stuff. He's going to be 60 freaking three. Like, I mean, like that's... really bad because he can still be nominated and win a award. He can still, yeah, but he just can't come Paramount. to the show. Who gives a fuck? I can still Ooh, be yeah, fuck that shit. Ooh, fuck that. I, think I can save this money I, I in this think, goddamn casino. I think they my ass out. Fuck this goddamn award. I still, get, I still get an award. They they did that because oh. all right, if this was Oscars like ten years ago, he would have just been straight banned, and they wouldn't have nominated him like ten years ago. But because the Oscars over the past couple of years have had a bad look in the public eye, saying how racist and how they don't include or they they're not diverse or inclusionary and how you can how can we uh take uh the oscars as as legit if you're not encompassing all people in their art or whatever if you're just rating white people then it's just all right this is the award to see who's the best whitey on yeah. on the show that's why <laughs> <laughs> Damn old thing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Because if you think about it, that's how they look at the BET awards. It's just the awards to see who's the best blackie out of the blacks or whatever. Best so, blackie out of the blacks. That's how they look at that. So, I'm going to say it like this the Oscars is nothing but the whitey to white whites award. And we're just going to see who's the great white out of all the other whites in this sock pond. <laughs> that's pretty much. But mm, I think all in all, or whatever, if they're going to just do all this to Will Smith. Will Smith that has been having the perfect track record for the past 50 freaking years. Will Smith that we only know of two people he has slapped over the probably I would say thousands of people he might have encountered that could probably deserve the smack. Will Smith, you're going to counsel him for that. Whatever. Now, the only other person I say um, going into the fuckery, Chris Rock has gotten himself lawyered up. Which probably explains why he has not in his stand up actually said anything directly about the smack or whatever. But I'm kind of debating if he's going to do it because, you know, the day of he didn't press charges. Um, you know, he pretty much just let Will have his, his moment or whatever. But that doesn't mean that after a while, because like Jim Carrey said, that smack is forever now yeah but you know what chris rock might not be getting lawyered up to do anything to will smith he might be getting lawyered up to sue the academy for some like the safety violation or something. negligence yeah putting them in harm's way without proper security or something like that like so if he does that then more power to him uh -huh. i think you should do that anyway i think you should do that but uh another will and jada because fuck them i'm tired of this shit <laughs> Out of this shit. Will get therapy. Remember your Will Smith. Jada. Jada, calm the fuck down. Okay. Calm the fuck down. All right. Um on new more more news. Oh, you got some? Oh, okay. But on more news of people storming the stage. Um T.I. heard something he disagreed with and he stormed the stage on this comedian. Come back, yo. Stop this nigga from doing comedy. It ain't work. Please. It Brooklyn ain't. tried. He done Brooklyn tried. Stage. He get booed. Like, yeah. Nigga, get they the fuck out of here. Fuck off. Like, and, and, and the arrogant attitude he got toward it, like, it makes me upset. Like, it's one thing if you, like, all right, if you're an actor and you go over and you say, all right, I'm going to start being a rapper, or you a basketball player and you decide, okay, I'm going to go into movies now, whatever. And you go into it and you like, all right, I'm going to respect the craft. I'm going to take my time, you know. 
hey, appreciate it. Like, T.I. was so humble when he went into acting. But now you over in stand-up comedy acting like you the grand poobah. Because he got into acting first. Like, nigga, you ain't that funny. You funny to your homeboys that laugh at you mm-hmm. because you are fucking rich and you they rich homie. You ain't funny to everybody else like that. Like you kind of like you are not interesting. You are not amusing. You funny like me, like the partner. You you funny like you know. Sometimes you'll say a say a quick little one liner in a conversation that'll be you know ha ha. Mm-hmm. But you ain't funny like that. Like so, work on your set. Stop being so damn uh, egotistical and mm-hmm. like chill out, bro. Yeah, that's here. that's the main that's the main problem with these celebrities. They be in their little Get ego bubble out of bunch, and they can't. And they can't like see outside themselves or whatever. Like, right. whatever. I think they need I, a re. I got a new reality show concept for them. You take some of these motherfucker celebrities and you take some of these regular random ass broke ass niggas and you switch their lives for sixty days. Lou, who oh, pick me? Get these, pick get me, these, nigga. Get, get, these, get these motherfucker celebrities like pick a Kardashian. Me. Put the Kardashian. Go put a Kardashian somewhere on on, on Bompton. Put them in Bompton, Bompton and let them in. They have to. Add, yeah, let the ass have to live out there for a little bit. You feel me? Trade me with then, Drake. With, with, with none of your security, with none of your security and some shit like that. You feel me? Bring some of these security. Like switch their lives up. Ti, take the Ti away. Just send him up, motherfucker, New York. Just send him to the heart somewhere. You feel me? Send him to Staten Island. Let him have to stay out there for sixty days. Switch it. Switch his life up with somebody. Pete Davidson. Send his ass down to Ocala in Florida somewhere. You feel me? Like, switch these motherfuckers up. Kanye, send Kanye to Haiti. Oh, switch, switch me with Kanye. Switch, switch me with Kanye, please. Please, please. I swear. Send I Ariana make, Grande I, ass I somewhere. Switch some of this draw, shit up. I can design because, better clothes. Because my thing is, I, I, I used to, I'm just like everybody, I used to be big in a celebrity, you know, I'm a white celebrity, but I'm going to use Kanye for example. The further he got along into his financial gains, he started to lose his grip on common man certainty. You feel me? When he first came in with that album, he was all about, yeah, man, I'm just like the common man. I just came from here, so I I realized what it is, man. I be seeing my favorite rappers. I still fan out, man. I still act like a fan. What's changed from now to then is only your financial status, brother. So maybe if those finances weren't there, you have a a, a clearer or, or, or more realistic viewpoint on what you hold, what you can do, or who you really are. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be the realest I can be right now. And everybody who's real in the world, who ever done anything illegal, will we'll understand this. The only difference between a rich man and a poor man is space and opportunity. Because just as far as you got rich, somebody could take your shit, and then you, your riches is gone. Let's say today you a Bitcoin billionaire, but your shit gets hacked. Pew! You a Bitcoin zillionaire, zero, zero now, because now you have shit. Yeah, new word. And you back in the same situation. You feel it? You back in the same shit. Your money is the only thing that separates you from the common man. So don't think your money makes you better. No, you're just you have more cameras on you. But in in, in the age of 2022. It's a camera everywhere, so anybody can be famous for real. And so it's just the level of fame that you aspire to, and the people that actually see you and pay attention to you. Because at the end of the day, this cancel culture shit, it really ain't cancel culture because you can cancel Will Smith. But I guarantee he go anywhere in the world, people still gonna freak out because it's fucking Will Smith. Shit, it's fucking Will Smith, man, and he need to remember that he's Will Smith. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna go one further on this cancel culture shit. What what's the white comedian? The the ginger? He bald headed. With the red hair shit. Bill Burr? Oh, or Louis C. No. Hayes. Yes. Wasn't he so called canceled? And then he just went to Oscar for that for the shit that he had on this with with the album that he had sexual harassment shit jokes in. So mm-hmm. how far is this real cancel shit going? Y'all can't cancel a motherfucker for real. Because it's- money <laughs> Money keeps them alive. Money keeps them surface. So as long as you paying attention to these motherfuckers with the money, you're not canceling shit. The only you the can't only take their money away. <laughs> the only way you beat canceling is just continue working, basically. Yeah. Hey, Keith, continue being getting money. That's it. 
But the only way to truly take and separate and, and make motherfuckers know, take they shit. That's a true cancellation. Take they shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Start this new reality show up, man. Switch your rules, man. Start with that's me. A new, that's, a, that's, a new, that's a new reality start show. Switch your rules. You take 10 celebrities and 10 broke motherfuckers and switch their lives for 60 days. Shit. No. Switch your rules. Ready. Produced by MTV. Or VA porn. <laughs> I will have so much shit tied up in my name. Mm-mm. Type in that mic. Shit. Don't give me no fuck. Change the lead. Change the damn. Change the D on your goddamn land in 60 days. My ass is gone out the country. You, you're gonna, it's going to be hard to switch back because my ass going to be gone. Family and all. <laughs> don't worry about school. We're going to homeschool you, JoJo. Don't you, I mean, don't you worry about it, man. Buy me some. I'm buying me some land, so when I switch back, I have some. I know that's something. <laughs> oh mm-hmm. man, oh man. All right. Well, well. One good thing. Um, the Forbes list has recognized Rihanna as the first billionaire from Barbados. Hold on. What now? The Forbes list. Mm-hmm. Is, Recognize Rihanna as the uh-huh. first billionaire from the Barbados. That sounds okay. Right. That sounds all right. Small island. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. Fucking lady. Cool, man. Mm-hmm. Smart man. Mm-hmm. They put too much. They they put too much shit in the news, man. I'm sorry. It's too much shit being publicized. If I'm on the fourth list, I don't want nobody to know my money. Shit, I'm not that conceited and cocky. I want to keep my shit to myself and private. If I got money, let me spend my money. I don't want to know, oh, you a billionaire? Oh, okay. Okay, you a motherfucking billionaire. You know, I seen you on the floor of this, my nigga. You know, you know that, right? You don't want nobody to pull up like, hey, how you doing? You are me, baby. Let me hold some, baby. Yeah, hold yeah I'm going to let you hold some. I right? let you hold 16. Shit. <laughs> Fuck first, away from me. My first billion. I'm getting me an island, and I'm disappearing. I know that. Right, that. Yeah. My robot that looked like me shooting missiles. Hey, verse on well. Soon as soon as by the time that shit is published, my ass gonna be on the island on well. Sell, sell, yeah. sell a Chinese flip flops to tourists. If I got that much money, I'm gonna buy a fucking Forbes and make them not post my shit. I, I, I own this shit now. Don't put me on this list. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Mm-hmm. Fuck um, this shit. Bought the magazine and just said, you know what? You ain't gonna talk. About <laughs> you ain't gonna publish my shit no more. <laughs> next, next on the list of fuckery, it, it kind of hits uh, a little close to home, <laughs> and, and it shouldn't. Somebody it shouldn't at all. Weird huh? Somebody in Chesapeake people doing something weird again? No, no, but these people, they're from Virginia. Um, the Grammys mm-hmm. has nominated, I said nominated, the, the Grammys has nominated mm-hmm. for best reggae album to a group called Soldier, which is a bunch of white guys from Virginia. I thought you was about to be like, I'm an island boy, and just an <laughs> island boy, and then an the island boy. The island boy. Yes, the group Soja, S O J A, an acronym for Soldiers of Jaws Army. <laughs> <laughs> so, not soldier, soldier, soja, soja. Uh, beating five Jamaican nominees, Jamaican as in Jamaica, as in the place where reggae was originated from. Sean Paul, Spice Gramps Morgan, Etana, and Jesse, Jesse Royale. Um, come, they come primarily from Virginia and they have been making music since 1997. The they only boy. visited Jamaica for the first time in 2015. Wanna play on time? Now my question. Um, 
these these SOJA motherfuckers. Soldier. Right? Soldier. Um, is it anywhere? What's their religious belief? Are they a Rastafarians? They're so job, man. They 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 claim they claim it. It looks like they don't say anything about it, <laughs> really. But I guess I gotta listen to okay. the music to really okay. see. No, no, no. <laughs> this is my friend. Um, so in any of their in anything, do they they praise Ja? except for in their name and in their music, because to most Rastafarians I speak to, known or seen in the interviews, it's quite, quite, quite often they reference most praises to Jah, Rastafari, most praises to the Most High, most praises. Uh, they they reference him, they, they, they reference Hala Salafi a lot. So my thing is, um, one, number one, um, I have no problem with race. Let me get over I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I want to be a big contributor to that that bullshit getting out of here. I want to try to get over race because there are white Jamaicans, but these motherfuckers from the United States, based in Virginia, you feel me? Um, now once again, I I'll get over race because Cali Buds, I believe Cali Buds, Jamaican, uh, was a reggae singer and he was white, right? Um, mm-hmm. and I fuck with Cali Buds music, you feel me? But S O J A soldiers of uh, 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 soldiers of Ja. Uh, I don't even know what the A stands for. I can't, I, I, me personally, I'm going to go out right and say it. I feel it's cultural appropriation because how dare you give them an award for Reggae Album of the Year before you recognize the founders, before you recognize the people who laid the groundwork to even be, to even allow you guys to come into the, to come into the culture and sing. Now, I appreciate you. about Reggae. But my thing is, I appreciate uh, uh, with every bad comes a good. I appreciate you bringing reggae to the masses and having more people pay attention to that to that genre of music. I really appreciate that. But I take it as a slap in the face that you're awarded album of the year over the countless other tenured reggae artists who are in the same category with you. You know, Kylie Buds is actually on their album. On the first song, <laughs> now that you brought that up, I just looked it up. Hey, hey. these hey. don't look like Ja Rastafari <laughs> songs. So. Like my thing is, Hold up. Uh, I love reggae. I love soca. I love calypso. I love all my island music. Um, you feel me? My, my my heritage is in the islands. Um, so. Uh, I will try to take this with a grain of salt. Um, I try to say this as easily as I can. Um, no, I'm not. Fuck that goddamn bank. <laughs> give that award to somebody who really. Fuck that. You feel me? Give that. Give that award to a group that really deserves that. You feel me? Who's <laughs> been paving the way? They may not have the the opportunity or the promotion to get the limelight, but they on the island doing their thing. It's easy for these motherfuckers in the states to get that to, to get that exposure. You feel me? Y'all motherfuckers are on the mainland, as they say. Y'all niggas are foreign, as they say. You feel me? Like y'all here with they music. You feel me? Once again, I go out double back and say I appreciate you bring the attention to reggae, and especially on that stage. But I don't feel that they should have won that award. Well, this is how I feel. I don't appreciate shit from them because everybody knows about reggae. I have been to plenty of white bars where they play both reggae and country. Mm-hmm. People know about reggae, whatever. Mm-hmm. Bob Marley told all of them about reggae, yeah. pretty much. So my thing, this is the same thing and how I feel about Caitlyn Jenner being woman of the year or whatever be all the women all the women that's been women since they been born in the world and this motherfucker decides to be a year a woman for a year not a full woman half a woman half a woman is woman of the year this is how i feel about soldiers there's a whole island (laughs) there's a whole island named jamaica where the music came from, originated from, 
there's actual reggae you don't, art artists. You should have won the award, Pat. Huh? I don't understand. You don't think I should have won the award, Pat? <laughs> you, you don't think I should have won? What about me and my half, Pat? Nope. All them Jamaicans on that island that make reggae music. <laughs> All of them, man. But, All of them. But, you give it to you give it to the watered down version of reggae, the uh the elevator music. But, but let me ask you this. <laughs> I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna play devil's advocate real quick. Okay. So I don't know much about um black country singers, and I don't know if Lil Nas X won won no what awards he won for country music. But let's just say a black guy came out. Um, and made a country album and won that award, won the, the country music award or the album of the year. You feel me? And the outcry came from that community. How would we feel on that? Would we have a issue with their community having a, a saying something negative about this black guy? You feel me? Because I mean, because yeah, so, I would, and I have every music. right to because black people made <laughs> music. <laughs> black people made music. Matter of fact. I should even I mean, be even more angry that that they took over country music <laughs> and it because it's based off of black music. Or yeah, most, most no anything, most well, for, for for if, if we're going there, we're, we're, if we can go that route, we'd be mad on everything because most everything in in America is based off black, black sweat, black anything, black inventions, black this, black IP. This, I mean, for, this goes for that, along but, with my argument of the colonizers colonizing everything and then still mm -hmm. thinking it's okay to colonize. The <laughs> well, they they well, be calling gentrification that? now. <laughs> they call it cultural uh, yeah. creation now. Soldier. Yeah, and I don't, me can't, personally, can't, I don't mind gentrification. Can't. Fix this shit up. I don't mind gentrification. Fix this broke ass shit up. <laughs> shit, because it ain't it, it ain't I mean, been getting I, fixed without the ass. I live I in I, I I my people live in Petersburg. I, I and Petersburg has been a piece of shit for many fucking years. Buildings breaking down, people abandoning buildings, shit everywhere. Until gentrification, niggas ain't won't fix enough shit. So I, I clap up gentrification, but. Why y'all justifying shit? Don't think shit gonna change because the hood is still the hood. Y'all just motherfuckers just fixing up the hood, living in the hood. That's that's all. So yeah, yeah. Want y'all to bring a Oh no, come to. I I don't know what justification you've been a part of, but in Petersburg, the motherfuckers ain't going no goddamn well. You can gentrify all the fuck you want to. You can have your 20, 125 million dollar house right next door, cause two doors down is still gonna be the trap. Them niggas ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> This is going to well. I see uh, I see a resurgence of white people in Petersburg every day I travel down there. But guess what? The same niggas is down there too. <laughs> oh well in in Norfolk they got this thing called um what is it called? It's something domain. I forgot the, the term eminent, for it. Eminent, domain. eminent domain. Eminent domain. Eminent domain. Eminent domain. And they've been doing mm -hmm. that since we've been in ODU. And they're still doing it. Yeah, I, it know. I have a friend. Yeah. I have a I have a friend right now going through it right now, trying to find a new place or whatever. And luckily, they done fought it out now that the city is is basically um, going to help find a place for them. But they've been doing that for a while. Like they've been, yeah. Just just go back to you a, a couple of times, and you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about, man. In some oh, cases, yeah, but they kick them out. But that boils down. Own but way. that boils down to that boils down to motherfuckers using that money and using it right because a black man can come in and do the same goddamn thing. I can if I had the same amount of money, I do the same shit these white folks do. I gentrify the fuck out of this shit, build this shit up, and make money off of it. Why build my shit brand new when I can go to these broke ass neighborhoods, buy this good ass building, and fix it up, then charge our motherfuckers the ass, arm and leg to bring our motherfuckers out of town into this bad ass neighborhood, and I live two or oh, four man. states away making my bread. Nah, why not? That's a good ass business venture. If you like, look at it. If I if I need a brick and mortar building, I can build it from the ground up, or I can take this bullshit brick and mortar building that y'all motherfuckers ain't doing shit for in this neighborhood and it's burning down and ain't got no value to you. Give me this piece of shit. I'm gonna fix it up and make value and bring motherfuckers from outside the neighborhood to bring me more value. And well, I take way, my ass back I, out. I, in the, in the, in the, in the, your way, I agree with, but. 
some of this shit I've seen. Because <laughs> it's all about it, it's subjective too. Because it's all about the company. Because I mean, you got um, it's a it's a it's a company group. Um, it's through an app called Fundrise. Um, I participate mm-hmm. in that shit too. What it is, it's um, it's a it's a community. It's a community based uh, uh, real estate shit. So the group they purchase different shit, purchase different shit in different communities, and once they start making a profit, everybody sees a profit in it. So they just bought uh, a community. I forgot what state it was, but they always go to the impoverished neighborhoods because you can make the most money flipping that building. It's like flipping a home. If you go mm-hmm. to the rich neighborhood, flip a home, you ain't gonna make but so much money for it. So I'm gonna put my money in it. I'm not making no. I'm not making no profit. I'm gonna go where the most profit is. It's just. It's just like hustling. I'm gonna take my money where the most profit is. <laughs> I'm gonna take my mm-hmm. product where the most profit is. So they getting their profit here because the people in the neighborhood don't give a fuck about the shit, and the people in the neighborhood ain't got the money to fix the shit up. Mm-hmm. But if they got the unity together, I guarantee they would because. Everybody in Petersburg, the citizens been complaining about the bullshit and the blank. But the city ain't did shit. But these motherfuckers from out of town with this money doing some shit for them, though. That that I can get right I can get with. I can get with I can get with that. But soldiers, they got, y'all got this soldier, y'all wait the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Whatever. March, like, march the fuck up on out of here. To the left, mm-hmm. motherfuckers. March to the left. To, let's go. Let's let's just get on out of here. And and then it's the simple fact that I need need y'all to actually do some work with other black like reggae artists before you just go and take a whole freaking Grammy. Nobody knew of these people. Just, nobody know of no soldier. I have yet to see title go on my title and see soldier pop up. Or whatever. Only soldier I know is Soldier Boy. That's mm-hmm. the only soldier I recognize in the so. music industry. Soldier Boy and Soldier Slim. <laughs> Oh man, GP, are you with me? Oh well, then let me go ahead and do that. Um, so y'all heard, have y'all heard about Craig Franklin sign wilding out in these streets? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the same. I heard he was arrested for murder. Then I heard he was arrested for a tail light. Then I heard he was arrested gun. Mm-hmm. Like it's been a bunch he, of different. What, what what exactly is going down? Well, Kurt Franklin's son, um carry on or whatever i can i guess that's his name carry on franklin whatever uh they said he was he says that they pulled him over for a break light and they found a gun there and they said that now i'm hearing things that they're trying to pin a murder to him or whatever this is the same uh son that uh kurt franklin was caught hearing that he's gonna break his foot all in that. Break your and, neck, nigga. And after all now, of this, I kind of feel like yeah. I understand him now. I understand why he's gonna um he would he would react like that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put it like this. Um from what I heard of Kurt Franklin's son when he through that phone conversation, he don't sound like he built to murder nobody. So I'm gonna say he had a dirty burner in the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then he got his fingerprints mm-hmm. on and then linked you to something else that your stupid ass is too stupid to not keep a dirty gun in the car. Stupid. Goofy. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm-hmm. hey, whatever consequences come, brother, um, you paved the way for your grown ass to figure it out. Um, don't attach your name to Kurt name. Shit. <laughs> well, uh, Kurt ain't gonna bend you ass out. He's also, I didn't even know he was on a show, but there's a show called Bad Boys Los Angeles or whatever. He's a he's a star of that show. It just sounds like Living it up. just sounds like the bad girls club for dudes or whatever. And uh-huh. I want it, I got it, I get it, I want it. Uh-huh. Shit kind of bad suspect girl. to me. <laughs> Bad boys in LA. Fuck you, ain't no goddamn. The bad boys in LA is all locked up, nigga. Take that, take that, take that. Oh, uh, some of them not. Some of them robbing people broad daylight according to the, the, the LA police. Oh lord. Shit. Shit. So yeah. um my last bit of fuckery is messy. And yeah, I also 
it's messy. It's real messy. And oh, I feel I, I feel like it's also a tad bit of karma in this too. Whatever. Should I, I don't know these people. Or something? <clears throat> you said what? You said it's messy. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Should I put on a smock or something? I don't know. I, well, uh, it, from this scene, I think this the person involved is Courtney uh, Taylor. That's her OnlyFans name. Her real name, I believe, is Courtney Clinney. Mm -hmm. um, a Caucasian woman was um, basically there uh, accusing her of stabbing her 27-year-old um, boyfriend, Christian. Um, I'm gonna fuck this name up. Obumseli. O B U M S E L I. And it even uh, I think some of her previous friends are like posting on on like social media that hey, she actually stabbed him. He was a good person and all this other stuff. And uh yeah, I saw on TMZ they had like the footage of when the police was coming in the motherfucking room. Somebody was yeah. filming outside the um, window, had her covered in blood and shit. Yeah, with and if I'm not mistaken, nice. she was also on that bitch ass podcast um, with them whole ass niggas. Um, Fresh fit niggas. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I say it's karma because a Christian acts like them fresh fit niggas he is he's there's tweets of him saying you think i d date black girls blah blah, blah. she thought I, or whatever and stuff so this might be a bit of karma i hate to say it i'll put you like this either way it's a bad situation um uh if the young brother lost his life i feel sorry for him um if he didn't lose his life i still feel sorry he got stabbed up no, um, for the young lady um for the young lady the road ahead of you is going to be a hard one um facing these charges in the judicial system but at the end of the day it may not because you may have privilege you may be um able Once to um, have the complexion for the, you may have the complexion for the protection so um i don't know uh, at the end of the day, it was only you two guys in that room, so it may play out to your your complexion gives you protection, and just because he won't, it may not mean shit. So the who lawyer. knows how it plays out? We, we, we've seen crazy shit happen, more crazy shit happen in the past. So the lawyer saying self defense, so you know that was going to happen anyway, though. Yeah, self defense. Yeah, but depending on the judge, to the extent of the damage done on him, will 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 have that thin line because self-defense only allows you to defend yourself to the point of getting somebody up off you. Now, when the self-defense turns to malicious wounding and, ex and goes excessively, then you're still in that same charge realm as where you can still be charged for that offense. So, um, hope he didn't yeah, too many times. Yeah. yeah. And then, depending on, let's say, when she tried to say self-defense, if if she did that and he didn't even like say she jumped on him like she did he didn't expect it happening or whatever mm -mm. the way these forensic detectives are man they could probably look at look at that shit and see that yeah the way he was the way his body looked and the way the things was cut or whatever it doesn't look like he was actually resisting and all that other stuff I don't know. It all depends on how it looks out, but yeah, it's not looking good. Don't sound good for her right now. But uh, yeah, the world is crazy, and um, that was my lady. good and fuckery list for this week. Get your shit together, yeah. lady. Was a lot of fuckery. Few good, mm -hmm. a lot of fuckery. See what happens. Mm -hmm. And that's why I stuck in that Rihanna thing. Cause that was like the only good. <laughs> the fucker in these days. I mean. Uh, mm -mm -mm. I uh, can't tell you. She's going crazy, man. Yeah, it is. Uh, and speaking of going crazy, uh, some old fuckery uh, was sent to us. Uh, Space had kind of got a little extra bit of information on this, but um, 
a man named Bishop Dwight Reed has married an 18-year-old student at the school he was a dean at, and she's also a member of his church in Des Moines, so on that, so this is in Iowa. And also, mm. Tennessee is in talks of eliminating the marriage age requirement. Face, what did you find out about this? Like, what, what, what the hell is It's some on? sick bullshit. It's some sick fuck shit. Now, from what I read, let's, let's take a back up from the face attitude. So, from what I read about the first bullshit ass, nasty ass nigga story, um, uh, the the man and the the pastor, the bishop, the 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 nigga who posted the, the nigga who posted to be leading by good example, um, has a history of doing fuck shit, something like this, um, with young ladies. So in this instance, he was um, he said he was giving the young lady guidance. Um, he was be, giving like being a personal tutor, giving her life assistance. Um, uh, so he was basically always with her. So in my mind, that's grooming. You know what I mean? Like it's basically grooming her. Um, mm -hmm. You were the dean of her. You were the dean of her school, and you're also she's also a member of your church. So in all and all activities, you're an authority figure to her. So in all instances, she's looking up to you. So what the fuck are you giving her guidance in that you can't give guidance to everybody else, the motherfucker? Mm -hmm. And how did she end up being your fucking wife, nigga? Like. And my thing, another thing on this, people in his church are trying to speak up about this, but you're using your position of power to threaten them not to speak about it. Saying that in saying in your sermons and saying on the pulpit that if anybody makes an issue or continues to speak about this, you'll make their life a living hell and shit like that. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Hold on, he said that from the pulpit. Yeah, he, he's including this type of stuff in his sermons and, and what he goes on online because everybody's on social media these days. So my thing is, where where are the adults in this community? Where are the police in this community? Where are the motherfuckers with common sense? Because I can't look at the 18-year-old for common sense. I can't. She's been groomed from a young age. So mentally, thinks she, she thinks this is this world is okay. This, this is cool for me to do right now. Because... Because regardless, if you're 18, I'm sorry, me being the age I am now, I see things a little bit differently on the ages I've been. You're 18, you're still a kid. You're still a kid. You're 21, you're still a fucking kid. You're 25, you're still a kid. Because in essence, at the age of 18, you've been a child for 18 years. When you hit 21, you've only been a, an adult for three years. From True. 18 to 21, you've only been an adult for three years. So what do you fucking know? You're still a baby. Yeah. You married this baby at 63 years old. You're old enough to be her fucking great grandfather. I, I, the child needs some help. The child needs help that she don't know she needs. This shit's disgusting to me. Me as a father, I'm a girl dad. And I'm a very protective girl dad because I was only raised by my mother and my grandmother. So when it comes to my female, they come directly from my... My 23 chromosomes went into them. I keep telling everybody every time I get on here, I don't give a fuck what you are, who you are. I'm going to eliminate you with the utmost prejudice. Sorry. Handicap, old, midget, young, old, it's it, it going down. Do not violate the kids, man. Don't violate the fucking kids. Leave these kids alone, man. They finally got R. Kelly. Get these goddamn preachers. You feel me? I, 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 I'm, I'm tired of whatever whatever your denomination is, Catholic, uh, 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 Paulistic, whatever it is, um, Presbyterian, uh, Baptist, whatever you are, get somebody your age. Leave these fucking kids alone, man. Leave these fucking kids alone. Because if you that fully that close to God, I know God ain't giving you that. God ain't telling you, it's okay, Pastor. You can touch all these little kids. No, they ain't saying that shit to you. You motherfuckers. That shit is vile to me. That is the that 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 is the lowest of the low. You're in that you're in these positions of power to help and heal, but all you do is hurt and harm. Right. Fuck you, man. Right. Fuck you. From one man to another. Fuck you. That little girl. Fuck you. They, they, they don't know no better. That little girl don't know no better. You ruin her brain. So it's going to take years for people to try to get her out of that mentality thinking what you're doing or what you told her.
what you let her and groom her was right. But fuck the adults that was hanging out around that allowed her exactly. to be groomed exactly. that long. Because that means he was around her when she was still a minor still. Like, mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. That means he's done that before. And, and accepted that as being okay. And they done yeah, it. Yeah. probably done it before. Hold on, Faye. Keep going. Like, they probably done it before. Then I, I don't understand. Like, how do you not step in until now? Like, how is this a story now? How is this not a story with the first girl that he did this to? See, see, this is what I don't understand. Why are you still going to the church? Right. Like, how if, did you if it's that bad. <clears throat> Like if if you don't have it, if your congregation is not together where y'all can vote him out as a pastor or whatever, if he has that much mind control over it, and you think it's a bad thing, why don't you leave or whatever? This is a tub. This is a subject for others. And I've seen this a lot. The people think that it's, it's some people that think that shit is okay. Like they think that it's okay to deal with younger girls as long as they're above certain age. Like if they hit puberty, they they think that it's fine. Like, uh, well, another part of this is uh, you're looking at the state of Tennessee there and talks of, you know, eliminating the marriage age requirement so you can just get married to somebody whenever you want to. Like that, the world is that discussing people, and I feel like we're regressing in terms of like a lot of the safeguards we have put in place to address the sick of us, those of, those in the human population that are afflicted by certain ills that make them do really sick shit to people. Like, I, we had some safeguards in place, and I feel like we are slowly but surely, like, trying to find ways to repeal them as a society and, and go backwards. Like, we're becoming monsters. Mm-hmm. Or have we always been and this is just shining the light or what's already been there? Because that low, like, before, like, the 1900s, you know, they were history of, like, people in power marrying below 18-year-olds. Yeah, and I I guess for me, I get confused at, all right, so that was a thing. And we evolved. Like, if if evolution is supposed to be, like, growing and getting to the point where, like, you are bettering the, the, the species, how is marrying, like, it, we don't need more, like, back in the day, I got it. It wasn't that many people on Earth. People was losing, like, like people was, uh, w- women was dying in childhood mm. a lot more. So you might have to get a young girl because she might only be with you till she's about 18. You know, mm-hmm. when, when people was dying of syphilis and typhoid and all these weird ass diseases and smallpox and shit. So like, mm-hmm. I get that. But we hit the 1900s and we had better technology. We had better medicine. We had things where we didn't have to like have 13 children because four of them might die. Mm-hmm. Like so, like at this point, we got you know closing in on eight billion people on Earth. Why are we so stuck on like let's marry younger women for what? What? What's the, I? I don't get that. Dominant. There's dominant. Something there that it's a dominant makes thing. Makes sense to me. That's just sick. It's just you want to deal That's with a, just like he. They don't. It's all about. It's all about dominance, man. Um, most men that do that are these old, old motherfuckers who still have that mentality that were grown up on during those times where you married a young woman, a real, real young woman and had dominance over because those were the, those were the times. And then you married a woman just to take care of the house. So you married a young, cause that's what she was bred to do. Take you care of the house. Time, so man, man. You, a, a prime example, color purple, prime example. He went out to get the, uh, the, the pretty daughter who was young. She was already engaged to somebody or promised to somebody, and the father didn't want to give up her because the father wanted less than her. So the father gave up silly. Another young woman just to come take care of my household while I go do what I got to do. You here with the kids, take care of this. If it wasn't for companionship, it's for power. So 
these old motherfuckers, once again, all this bullshit that we be talking about, all these bad concepts, all this foul, fucked up American shit that's still going on, it derives from these old fucks, man. I'm sorry. And I know we got old viewers, but I ain't talking about all old people. I'm talking about these old fucks with these old fucked up mentalities that can't maturate and change with the times. Sure, you may like to be in control, but motherfucker, you 63, your days is numbered. What the fuck are you controlling? Control your bowels. Control that shit. Hey, I'm trying to control people. Control your shit. Pissy ass old man. Probably wearing the pants. See, see yeah. the problem. The problem with evolution is it's not a, not one of those things that we all agree on at once. It's one of those things where, all right, we're gonna put y'all out in this field. And we're gonna see which one of y'all actually make it. <laughs> okay. Or, or whatever. We can take That's it to it. another level. Maybe because he's in a church, he don't feel like he has to evolve because he don't believe in evolution. Maybe, maybe that he takes that stance. You know, there is no evolution, so I get to stay the same. I don't believe in that concept. If God wanted me to change, he would change me. No, motherfucker. He has changed. Look around yourself. Sometimes the change God's providing for you. Is outside of you, just your, just yourself. It, it, it it's probably more like how I say, you know how. I I feel like smart people are smart because they know that they're they're not the smartest. You know what I mean? Like the only way you're gonna become you're smarter to if you to learn more, open to learn more, people that want to better themselves see something that they lack at or whatever so they become better people or whatever but if you already feel like you're the pillar of goodness in your community there is no there is no upper limit so you get that that that, you get that guy complex in your head you get that guy complex in your head so you feel like you can do whatever little pleasures you want because you already and to work in the community to say, hey, I, 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 I did what I can. I want my rewards and stuff like that. Whatever. But this just goes back to people thinking that they can do and get whatever they want. And it's just not possible. It's, right. it's not possible for you to do everything you want, whatnot. If you, if you can do everything you want, then that means somebody is without somewhere. And you're going to gain a lot of enemies sooner or later. Well, in this case, I hope he got some enemies that uh, put forth some type of investigation that uh, can hang him up on something that he did with this young lady when she was a minor that can uh, get him off the streets. Because I, I, I don't understand why this guy still has a church, why he still has a congregation, why there are young adults in this congregation that are still OK with this. Why, like, I don't get it, like. We've always had sick people in our society and we've always dealt with those people in, in ways that protected the greater society from that. And if we're at a place now where we just gonna let the sickos run loose, then I, I, I don't even wanna be part of this shit no more. Like, I can't do that. I, I can do it. it. It's fucked up enough. I have a suggestion. Let the sickos I have a suggestion for the Americans and the American judicial system and those lawmakers out there and all those pedophiles. I got some information. Um, if we change the rules in America to let us do the pedophiles what they do in other countries, I guarantee this shit will stop. I can't fucking see this shit will stop. If we treat pedophiles like they treat thieves in other countries, I guarantee this shit will stop. You touch a kid, I chop your dick off. Chop the chop of your PP. Let it happen to one or two people. I guarantee everybody else will stop. I guarantee. Hey, man, you want to go look at these little boys? Hell no, nah, nigga. They chopping niggas' dicks off of that shit nowadays. I ain't doing that shit. We need, we need our, I'm say, we need our age to be, have more politicians. We need more politicians our age. That's what I'm trying to say. We, we need to get all these old people out. They're holding up progress. Like, they're serious. They're, we need. They're, they just change laws so they can go and do stuff that they want to do. That's all. We need politicians who ain't really politicians. We need politicians who have the common man mentality. 
not a politician mm-hmm. mentality because if, the, if to say a politician, that's just going to say a bullshit liar anyway. Mm-hmm. So I need somebody in office with the common man mindset. Um, I forgot who it was a president. I forgot who he, who he was, but he was a common man. He, he and he, that's how he won off, off just that. Every time he had a debate, he was like, I'm a common man. I ain't, ain't smart as I'm this. I'm just this. And he won off that platform. Um, he was one of the forefathers. I forgot which one fucking was, but that was his platform. I'm just a common motherfucking man. You see me? He won't know politician, but after he became a politician, of course, politics took over. AOCs. We need more real motherfuckers who looking out for people, man. Like the the, the best. I know at, at no point in time when, when anybody in office make any decision to make everybody happy because everybody initially wants something different. But there will be somebody who can't be put in office to make the majority of the people happy you know I mean? and do the right things because there's know, a definite difference between doing the right and the wrong. I'm, I know one wrong. person that they get, get the fuck out of office here in Virginia. We have one person we need to get the fuck out of office and that is our current governor. Glenn Youngkin. <laughs> I voted against him. Get that motherfucker out. He is trying to bring charges back on people uh, on marijuana again. And mind you, mind you, we just got this legalized. And Congress that just passed. That's um, that shit ain't gonna happen. Well, get him yeah. Out. I don't think it's gonna happen because the Congress just passed for it to be um, now, legal federally. Now, I, I'll still put it like this. The Senate, I think. We'll put it like this. Now, I'm glad you brought up cannabis because, you know, that's my thing. Now, and I'm glad you brought up that bitch-ass nigga trying to bring charges back. Um, cannabis will be legalized federally solely because of the financial aspect it will bring. Not mm-hmm. because of the benefits it will have help for people, not because it can change the industry of America, solely because of the billions of dollars it will bring. Already last year, it brought in $22 billion in 2021. It's projected to bring in double that this year. And by 2036, it's supposed to be in the hundreds, 155 million projected by that. That's with cannabis alone. And that's the cannabis retail sector. Not everything else. So Mr. Youngkin, you may want to take your agenda and do this and get your Republican buddies on your side, do this. But we all know what makes the Republicans move, baby. It's money, money with taxation because representation. Y'all ain't gonna make this shit illegal again. It's too much dough for y'all now. Y'all see the y'all see the financial benefit that y'all can get in because we already know the Republicans and, and the politicians got the money in the stock markets. If you mean y'all, we already know y'all money movers too. So when it becomes legal, those of you who are in the public fighting for it, we all know, I, I'm not stupid, I know you're a private gunning for it, wanting to, go, wanting to go legal. Because as soon as it do, your stock margins go up, your profit goes up. So, hey, Mr. Youngkin, I know you're in public talking this bullshit, but I also know you're in private stacking your bread waiting for it too. So just be real, man. Stop bullshitting motherfuckers and being a politician. Be a real fucking person. You feel me? Stop trying to appease motherfuckers on one side when you know what the shit you're trying to do in public ain't right at the end of the day. You feel me? Because you're thinking more of us got them fucking charges. But it's equal. It really is. The, the shit is equal. But we'll just publicize for the charges more. That's it. Yeah. This shit coming full force real fucking soon. And when it come, get your money right. Because it ain't going to be about color and charge. It's going to be the color that matters is going to be green. And if you got green, you're going to get green. And if you get green, you're going to make more green. So let's go green. <laughs> let's go green. Be eco-friendly too, guys. It is Damn that month. It is Earth, Earth Day month. All of the stories, man. Get a... Uh... Bullshit Bishop Dwight Reed up out of here. Get the politicians in Tennessee up out of here. Get Governor Youngkin up out of here. The and, fuck uh, out of here. <laughs> yeah, man. And I think that's about a good point to get us the fuck up out of here. So, uh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, one more thing. One Go more ahead. thing. Go ahead. 
Oh, uh, man. Rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey, man. Yeah. That's great that. Well, rest in peace, Gilbert. Yeah, man. Honest, that man. We're not going to have anybody talking all weird and shit like that no more. Oh, Gilbert. Oh, yes, we will. Someone will come out. Someone, someone will come. Someone will come. <clears throat> no one will replace him because he's irreplaceable. But there will be another weird voice motherfucker out there coming up to try to fill that void. It don't have to be. It's okay if it's not. Oh, someone will. <laughs> but I just want to say that Mr. Bean is alive and well, y'all. Mr. Bean is still king. <laughs> Jesus. You and his damn bean. Yes, nigga. He got a cartoon, too. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> You got cartoons, movies, series, oh. motherfucking Mr. Bean making bread, goddamn shit. <laughs> okay, and um, yeah, on that note, guys, uh, mm-hmm. get up out of here on episode 72. Um, Mr. Bean, shout out to you, rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. Um, and yeah, man, uh, it's been another good convo with my homie. Uh, I love y'all, man, it's been a good week, and I love culminating the end of this week off with coming back and getting this talk in. And, uh, hopefully, if we spread some awareness out there, if y'all didn't know about that Dwight Reed story, man, please uh, look into that and uh, let's let's do something. Uh, it's a it's a, a petition out there on, uh, I guess, uh, what's the name of the website? God damn it! I'll have it posted. Y'all want to keep the motherfucker? Be posted in the description, but y'all make sure y'all sign the petition. Um, to get him, you know, removed. Deep book. Something gotta happen. Gotta get this one, more one, one more thing. 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 Y'all social media motherfuckers quick to cancel motherfuckers for no reason, but people who need to and deserve to be canceled, mm. period. Come on. Don't get it. And that ain't no hate. Y'all got y'all got public figures that are known for doing bullshit like this. Cancel them. Just that easy. Amen. It don't take black Twitter. It don't take none of this. It takes a united front by people, good people, who are like-minded and have the good of humanity in their hearts and minds. Cancel them. Just that easy. No violence needed. Because it's obvious he has a good standing in his community. Cancel him. Take the power away. Without power, there is no presence. That's all. Amen. And that ain't no that ain't no bull job there, man. Like uh, at the end of the day, instead of claiming that you know somebody hating on you, let's start hating the motherfuckers that actually deserve it. Because there's some of them. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, but you know, don't hate on us. Come love the partners. Uh, and this has been episode seventy-two. I have been your boy Ted, one third of the partners, and I've been along with. Hi, right, this is the better one. I'm the other third of the partners, and I'm along with. Hey, what's that, man? Shit, boy, face in the place, and we're out of this oh, yeah. place. Almost forgot. Uh, if you want to support, buymeacoffee.com backslash the partners or dollar sign partner tears one on Cash App. Um, if you want to buy some merch, face. How can they do it? Oh, you can go to rtreclothing.com, rtreclothing.com, uh, rtreclothing.com, A-R-T-R-E, clothing.com. I will never spell clothing for you. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, get your partner's gear and your AC83 gear. Springtime is coming. It's here. It's warming up out there. Go ahead and jump on the new lines now. Um, and if you want to join more conversations with us or start your own conversation with us offline, how can they do that, Pat? At T H E P O D N A S, that's Twitter. That is, wait, what? That's Twitter, that's Instagram. Shit. It's TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, I forgot all the damn Facebook. social media. Tis Twitch. Face Pat, Pat are the partners at uh, Facebook. And we are, we got a Twitch too, at T H E P O D N A S. Amen. Amen. And uh, if you want to uh, also join the podcast and you can actually leave us a voice message and have your voice become part of the podcast itself. And you can do that on Spotify or on anchor.fm backslash the hyphen partners. Um, so, yeah, make sure y'all tune in with us on, on all platforms. And, man, we about this thing, man. It's been a great week. We love y'all.
Peace, motherfucker! As we about to say, love y'all, niggas. One. <laughs>